Hello and welcome. My name is Light of Hand and today I'll be looking at Bolt Action's D-Day Firefight Starter Set. Hello. Well, today, as I already just said, I'll be looking at the starter set from Bolt Action. Okay, let me just zoom out. Sorry about that. And you can sort of see a lot of the stuff. You actually get... Okay, well I'm going to go in a bit to look at the artwork on the front. I have to say, I do like the artwork here, you know, the American standing there with his Tommy gun, the uh, German half-track in the background, the farm or farm hamlet on fire with a bloke upstairs shooting out as well. I think it all really, really sort of like a powerful piece of work there. Okay, well the first bit I'm going to actually start off with, which I think is probably very, very useful in any game, is a player sheet. And this does a little rundown on all the sort of little rules that you need in the game. You know, I think a lot of starter games should have one of these. Okay. Uh, you also get a little rule book. This is actually very useful. I actually bought the main hardback rule book. And there isn't much more in the hardback rule book that isn't in this already. The hardback rule book, you do get an army list for the British, the Soviets, and I think there might be one other army, maybe the Japanese. I use the words maybe, I'm not 100% sure on that. But I didn't really need to actually buy the main rule book, I could have just used this. I think there's more scenarios as well in the main rule book. But again, very well done, nice little sort of rule book. You also get a scenario sheet. I'm going to be playing scenario one soon with my father. Um, so we'll see that I've only built nine Americans so far from the set. Been kind of busy with other stuff going on in my life. Oh, also on this you get these. You've got some pin tokens you can use, a short ruler, and more pin tokens on it as well. You also get a bag of dice. The most important, well, D6 is probably the most important dice in the game, but these here are part of the game mechanics. These are your order dice. Now, for every unit you have in the game, it receives an order dice. So, in this scenario one here, the Americans will have two order dice, the Germans would only have one uh, in a bag, and you pull out, and whatever colour that dice is, it's that person's moves it can move any unit they choose okay well you get four American sprues there's only two out this minute because where I've been building I've um, sort of made sure they're in still in the box okay let's turn this around this way for a minute that might actually look better you've got many different sets of arms to use with for different types of weapons you've got some bodies again the detail on some of these models are actually really really nice like on some of the faces someone's got a cigar some have got their mouths open some look like really like upset and peed off the brack sacks you've got another set with the rack sacks with the shovels you know the little belt bits with the water the knives on them again sort of different you know another body with the legs some uh, shovels there and then stands. Now the German ones doesn't come with the stands. Well they do come with a stand but they got a separate sort of colour and sort of bit there. Now here's the German. Again different sort of sets of arms, the trigger arms, body kneeling down, no one sort of standing. You get two, two of these. I haven't built any of the Germans yet. I will be soon though. Okay, look, sort of look, 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 officer sort of head there. You get two of them. Okay, now here's the German weapon. Hopefully it'll focus. Okay, sorry. You got some rifles there, some stick grenades, a, well, scope on one of the rifles there. So, Luger, I think that is. That's the MP40. The MG42 and an MG4, 
uh, MG34. I can't remember what they're called. I remember it's one of the early assault rifles. And a Panzerfaust. Okay. That's that one. You only get one of them. The American, though, you get two of these sprues. There's a shotgun, a few different rifles, two Tommy guns, a bar, a rifle with a sniper, some pineapple grenades, as, uh, some other little bits as well, some belt clips, a bazooka. And I don't know what that is, it's like a former Sten gun, I think, but it's not called a Sten gun. I don't know what it's actually called, to be honest. You also get, um, sorry about this, guys. You also get the uh, German half track. Some nice little bits on here as well. There's two spruce to build that. Uh, the instructions on how to build it are actually on the site. When you open the box, the uh, inner box bit has the uh, some instructions on how to build this. You also get a nice little transfer with all the little bits you can use for it. And you also get this sort of very nice little farmstead bit that I need to learn on how to build. Before me and my dad get round to doing the scenario, actually I've got to build five Germans as well before we can do the first scenario. Um, I won't lie, this is not the only thing I've bought for the game since I've got it. I've got a uh, 500 point Polish army with a armoured car coming for it. I've got the early German Blitzkrieg as well set, which I've also got a Panzer Mark 1. And an early German armoured car. I can't remember what it's called at this minute. Well, you can sort of see there's a nice little load of detail actually on these sort of buildings, which I think is really, really cool. Nice little corner pieces as well for the rubble, a chimney stack for the side of one of the buildings. So, yeah. As I said, uh, for a starter set, I actually think this is really good. You get quite a few bits. You can't play a proper game with what you start off. Well, what I mean by a proper game, I mean you, you're meant to have two units, infantry units, and an NCO. You know, I suppose with the Americans you could technically do that, but with the Germans you can't. Um, but still, there's enough here. Again, you've got a couple of little games you could play with this scenario. You've got three different scenarios. You can play, and then the one right at the back basically says, look, go out and buy these little extra things and use these. Um, again, my first impressions, what I've read from the rules, because I've gone right through the uh, little rule book. Really, really, really good. Uh, I was r I'm really, really impressed with this game and how easy it is to pick these rules up and play. Um, and again... Like I said, every starter set should have these sort of like easy player sheet references just there at the side for people to pick up. Anyway guys, uh, I hope this is an alright video. It's been a few weeks since the last time I've done one. I apologise for that. I've had uh, been doing a lot of overtime, been really busy with other stuff as well. Um, also, I won't lie, i got Witcher 3. That's taken a bit of my time up as well. Anyway guys, I hope you're having a good night. I know I am. And hopefully I'll be doing a couple more videos soon. Uh, continue with the Armada Wave 1 would be a good start. Starting the uh, X-Wing um, Wave 1 would be a very good one to do. There's also another game I just got called Forbidden Stars by Fantasy Flight. It's a Warhammer 40k uh, planetary conquest game. Really, really looking forward to that. And also that was my German Shepherd walking in the background that they just walked past. Okay guys, again, sorry to repeat myself, good night.